Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. morning, to be exact, and Papa Bloom is in his office at the studios of the Excello Pictures Corporation. It seems as though he's trying to locate someone on the phone, as we hear him say... Yes, 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 for the last time I'm asking you, I want to talk to Sidney Shipbay. Yes, he does something around here. What it is, I don't know, but I am paying him a salary. Who's speaking? Who? Only the boss. Yes. Well, I thought you'd hear me that time, and you better try to locate him. What? All right, all right. Call me back when he comes in. Slamil. Now, here, sit again. Hello. Yes. Hello. 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 Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Bobin, put him on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bobin. I was waiting for you to call. Yeah, now, look, about the price... I... <laughs> Just a minute, Mr. Bobin. <laughs> Hello, Mama. I'm busy talking. Yeah, I can see that, Jack. Go ahead. Don't remind me. Uh, mind you. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Hello. Hello, Mr. Bobbin. <laughs> Excuse us, please. Now, look. About the price. Yeah. Couldn't it be just a little bit higher? It's good merchandise. I'm selling you the book. Double the price, yeah, they, yeah, You can but, always come down. Uh, uh, just a minute, Mr. Bobbin. Mama, please. Don't talk at me and Barnier while I'm listening in the other to the phone. Besides, you don't even know what I'm talking about. You're talking about prices, and doubling the price is always good, no matter what you're trying to sell. All right, Mama, all right. Oh, please, Mama, please. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bobbin? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, it's all right now. Now, look, what I am selling is the finest merchandise. It's so fine, as a matter of fact, I should ask double the price I'm going to. But I'm going to do you a favor, Papa, you see? Papa, you got a so, pencil, uh, I'm I, going to work you, an up and you, down puzzle. I, me, <laughs> Mr. Bobbin, please, just one minute. There's somebody in my office. Sure, Jake, sure. Have you got a pencil? Mama, there are a hundred pencils in the office. Look in the desk drawers. Look any place, but please. Please, Mama, let me finish talking to this man, All huh? right, Jake. All right, Father. Look for the pencil. Yeah, thank you. Hello, Mr. Bobbin? <laughs> yeah, it's me again. <laughs> yeah. Now, look, I am willing to come down just a little bit. I, I, no, no, I mean, couldn't you give me a little better... <laughs> Mama, you hit me in the stomach with a draw. I'm sorry, Papa, but it was stunning. All right, now it ain't. Take the pencil and break the puzzle, but let me fit. <laughs> All right, Ma. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bobbin. Yeah. <laughs> now, look, Mr. Bobbin, what I was going to say, if you'll only come over and look at the merchandise... Oh, all right, but... <laughs> Papa, uh, if you, Papa, you, what's a five-letter void uh, for our medieval garment? Now, look, if you'll take the things out Never of here, Mr. Never mind, Mr. darling, Bob... I got it. It's armor. Um, I'll sell at your price. Yeah, all right, all right. You come over here with your trucks and take them away. All right, Mr. Woman, I'll, I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye. Mama, trying to talk over the telephone when you were in the room is like trying to talk in our battle. It's a little bit too nice. Like that's foolish. I'm sitting here not saying a little word. I'm working a puzzle. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's funny, Jay. I'm a, I'm a smart man. A very smart man. Nobody said you wasn't, Jake. Sure, you are a very smart man. <laughs> uh, what did you do now? Don't ask me that way. Mama, I'll tell you. The hundred suits of armor, you remember them? Yeah. They're all gone. <gasps> Did somebody steal them? No, no, Mama, no. Nobody would want to steal a hundred iron suits. <laughs> because in the first place, they couldn't carry them. And in the second place, they couldn't wear them. No, Mama, nobody stole them. I sold them. At a profit? Well, no. 
No, not at a profit, but I sold them just a little bit under the price I paid. Papa, that ain't no way to do business. So you buy 100 suits of armor for $1,500? Maybe you sold them for only $700. And so you are a smart businessman, eh? Now, look, eh? Mama, no matter what I sold them for, I would be smart to get them out of the way so nobody could see that I bought something foolish like that in the first place. So somebody else is very foolish to buy them. Uh, all right, I sold them to a junk man. He's going to break them up. It's good iron in the suits, Mama. <laughs> I have <ought> to know. <laughs> Yeah, wasn't I closed up in one of them for over two hours? Jack, maybe you shouldn't be selling the iron suit. Now, look, Mama, please. In business, you don't wait until you're too late to do anything. The man wanted the iron suits for junk, so I'm selling at a little loss so that later on I don't have to sell for a big loss. How are you knowing that later on you would be having to sell for a big loss? Mama, please. Anybody that's got 100 iron suits on his hands is never selling at a loss, even if he sells them for less than he paid for them. Papa, that's very foolish. Maybe you should learn aromatic. I... Uh, I should learn what, Mama? Don't be so numb, Jake. Aromatic is number. Oh, how's the arithmetic you meaning? All right, so it comes out to the same thing. Jake, what will Sydney say? Sydney? Sydney? Should I care what Sydney says? It was my money he's spending to buy the iron suits. And it's just a little bit of my money I'm getting back by selling the armor for John. All right, Papa, all right. There's nothing to be getting mad about. You should feel very good because you sold them. <laughs> I should. I am feeling very good. <laughs> the man is coming over in a little while to take them away. Yes. Yeah, Mama. And I will stand and watch him take them, and I will feel very good. Yeah, yeah. And because you're selling the suits, you shouldn't be mad at Sydney anymore. He's feeling very bad because he bought him. So now that they're gone, they won't be around to bother you. It's a very good thing that Sydney bought him. It's a good thing? Yeah, Papa, yeah. Because in New York, he was very lucky that he sold the red uniforms to the South Americans. But now he buys all the armor and he's not knowing what to do with them. So he's learning a good lesson. That later or sooner, when you leave a host of water, he won't drink. It's like I'm always saying, Jake. Everything turns inside out for the best in the ending. You got rid of the suit. Sydney gets rid of a lot of foolishness that was having to come out sometimes. And now? Everybody's happy. Mama, when you're talking like that, I don't understand you. But I'm loving you more and more. <laughs> That's good, Jake. That's good. And now I'll need the checkbook. The check... The, Becky, I said I was selling the armor at a loss, not at a profit. So it's gone and I still need the checkbook. But what for, Mama? I'm buying some new clothes. Hey, but you just went shopping the other day. So I'm going out shopping again today, Jake. I need some new dresses. You need some... But why, Mama? Papa, should I run around looking like a rag pickle? Picker, picker. I will look very bad if I don't buy some new clothes. People will say, huh? There goes Rebecca Bloom. Her husband's the big shoot of a movie company, and she has to dress like poor people. Oh, all right, Becky. All right, all right. I know this. <laughs> Here's the checkbook. That's nice, Papa. That's nice. You know, you know, Mama, I don't know why I'm arguing with you every time you're wanting the checkbook. Because always in the end, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe I should learn to save a lot of breath, huh? <laughs> huh? Break, what's that? What's what? Oh, that's the phone. The phone, Mama, the telephone. It buzzes like that when all the little lights light up. But that's pretty, Jay. No, it ain't. Now, let me see if I can find the right one. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? What? Now, where is he? He won't be back. All right, all right. It ain't important anyhow. Is somebody lost, Papa? No, no, Mama. That was Sydney's secretary. She said that Sydney called and said he wouldn't be back today. Where is he? Mama, please, why ask me a question like that? Nobody ever knows where Sydney is. Even Harold is getting that way now. He's never in the office when I'm wanting him. Maybe that's good, Jake. That's good. Becky, if Harold ain't around and Sydney ain't around, then I know that something is going to happen very quick. What it is, I never know. But I am always expecting something very bad. Because when they are together, they are thinking up more ways to spend my money. Papa. You remember what I told you just before? You shouldn't be mad anymore because Sidney is learning a lesson than Harold is too because Sidney was foolish. So don't worry about the boys no, now, right, huh? Don't right, worry. All right, all right, so I won't worry. No, I'll just sit and wonder. And pretty soon I'll know that something is wrong and then, Mama, then I will go crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh... Papa, yeah. uh, any time for the man to come and take away the iron suit? Oh, that's right, Becky, that's right. Uh, wait a minute and we'll walk over to the prop department. Prop. <laughs> Such funny voice. <laughs> Both of us has got to learn English all over again. Mm, yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, I said hello, it's me. All right. Uh, when Mr. Wobin comes in, send him to the prop department. Yeah, that's it. All right, Mama. Now you and me will go over to the prop department and... 
I will have a very fine time watching Mr. Waldman's trucks take away the hundred iron suit. Yeah. Even if I am selling at a loss, I will still have a good time. <laughs> because then the suits will be gone. Hmm? No? Come on, Becky, come all on. All right, Pop, all right. Don't rush. Nobody's being able to carry away all that iron in a little bit of a vial. <laughs> all right, Mama, this way, huh? Jake, I'm right under your heels. <laughs> Papa, why do you have to sneak out this way? Huh? You've got a very nice exception room. Why aren't you going through it? Why? Because Sidney says I shouldn't. He says that if I don't want somebody to know I'm in my office, I can always sneak out this way. Why, that's very bad, Papa. Pretty soon people will say, poor Jack Bloom, he's sneaking away from people. He owes money. But, Mama, I don't owe anybody any money. I'm not saying you do, Jake. Can I be helping what other people say? Who said it? I don't know, Jake. But if you are keeping on sneaking out from the back way, people might say it. All right, Becky. All right. You ask Sydney. Sydney says I should be going out that way, so I am. Very foolish. Plank, hide and go stick it yourself. No, never mind, man. Never mind. Here, we go this way. <laughs> so many doors. Don't you get lost, Jake? I ain't been yet. But sooner or later, Sydney will think of another way for me to sneak out, and then I'll have to be found. Well, here's the prop department. And there are the iron suits. Mm, <laughs> such pretty suits. Look at Papa, all fancy carving, like the writing on wedding invitations with six hearts. They'll be much prettier when they're going out the door. Huh. One hundred iron suits. Look, Papa, the pants in his hands. <laughs> and look at how funny the toes stick up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's the truck, <laughs> Becky. The man came quick. Yeah, so he should come quick when he's getting a bargain. Well, yeah, I'm going to stand here and watch every one of the suits go out the door. And every time one goes out, I'm going to give just a little cheer. Papa, there's a man coming here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, over here. Okay. That's the place, Ed. Well, I'm looking for Mr. Jacob Bloom. That's Papa. Oh? She's meaning that I am Papa. Oh, okay, Pop. Sign here. Pop? He's very friendly, Jake. Sign the paper. All right, all right. There. Hey, hey wait a minute. <laughs> what did I sign? For the armor. Ain't this the Excel Pictures Corporation? And ain't this the prop department? Sure, sure. But uh, I thought I was making a mistake. Uh, uh, Mr. Woven out there? Woven? Woven? Never heard of him. Who's he? Who? He's your boss. The man who owns the company. Not my company he don't own. Okay, Ed, trot him in. Trot? Oh, who bought horses? Nobody bought horses, lady. A guy by the name of Shiftane had these sent over. He had what sent? Quick, what are you talking about? You signed for him. You signed the delivery slip. A guy by the name of Shiftane bought a hundred more suits of armor. We're bringing them in. <laughs> you, 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 Papa, you, you, Papa, you're checking me. <laughs> I'm listening to Carla Quick, Papa. Talk to me, Papa. <laughs> 